Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle Monet here, and ever since I've been carrying this lovely bag, I have gotten a few requests on my Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle below to do a what's in my bag and just a little bit about the bag. So, this lovely bag is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 in the monogram print. I freaking love this bag, guys. This bag is so special to me because it's the first like real designer bag that I bought myself. Like first real designer bag. Like I bought myself coach bags and I know those are designers and stuff, but this bag is it was like it's my it was my first like legit purchase. I bought this bag a little over 2 years ago and as much as I love it and as much as it is a forever bag for me because I'll never get rid of it. I do kind of wish that I had done some more research. Now, I bought this bag on Tradesy, which is a second-hand um, platform. However, the bag is 100% authentic. No need to worry there. But I wish that, one, I would have gotten a smaller size, maybe maybe a 30 or even a 25. This, I think I said before, is the 35 size. And I wish that I had gotten the bandolier, which has the the um it'll on the sides it has the band so you can cross body it so my next Louis Vuitton bag will probably be like a 25 or a 30 bandolier but like I said as much as I wish this bag was a bandolier I still love this bag and I'll never get rid of it so let's just guys it is so packed <laughs> oh my god this bag is so packed it's like insane and my camera is usually in here as well but I'm filming on my camera today so let's just get into what's in this bag starting with my planner i know it's freaking huge but this is my planner it's by blue sky planners and it has like stickers and things like that let's see yeah so it's very like i have like all kinds of cute things in here and like so yeah anyway when I'm not carrying my planner, the bag is not nearly as heavy, and I only carry my planner during the week. I don't carry with me on weekends, because anything that needs to go in there on a weekend, I can just like write in my phone and put in there after. Let's just grab from the front here. So I have this Henry Bendel glasses case, and I have these in here. These are my, I don't even know what style of frame these are, but these are my Henry Bendel sunglasses. I love these sunglasses. I think they're so fun. They really give me a 70s vibe. And I just feel like, why not, you know? Why not? <laughs> then I have a Ray-Bans case. Now, and here are my Sack Posen glasses. Um, they're not Ray-Bans. I just don't know where the hell the case is for them. And there goes my contact case that just fell. I keep my contact case in here as well. Okay, I'm really gonna be able to like not be able to see for a minute because I have my contacts on. But these are my seeing glasses. Guys, holy shit. Like my eyes are trying to like autofocus, but I can't see anything because it's like double on double. But these are my glasses and these are Zach Posen. Whew, if that didn't give me a headache, like I don't know what the hell will. Lord have Jesus. My wallet, um, this, I don't even know what kind of wallet it is. I wish that I could tell you guys. My mom had this wallet for a really long time and then she ended up upgrading and she got the, either the Emily wallet or the Sarah wallet. And I was like, oh, well, since you got a new wallet, I can have your old Louis Vuitton wallet. No, she made me buy it from her for $100. I mean, it's a real wallet. It's not like, like a $100 wallet. It's not a knockoff, it's a real wallet. But she was like, I'm not gonna just give it to you. Like, you're gonna give me something for it. So, let me like hide everything of importance, all the numbers, but so it has all these card slots here, and then like here you can put coins and like cash and stuff. And then I have my Louis Vuitton, my monogram Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. And in here I have my car key, you know, you guys know that I drive a Jetta, my office key, my key to my parents' house, and my apartment key. And then in this little slouch back here, I carry the gate key to get into the gate. 
And this has that pretty rose ballerine pale pink interior. And I got this, I've had this for I think just over a year now. I think I got it in 2006. Teen. What the hell am I talking about 2006? I think I got it in 2016, but I'm honestly not sure. I may have got it in 2017, who the hell knows. Then I have my Smith's Rosebud Salve. No secret about this, you guys know that I'm like, can it focus? You guys know that I think this shit is like the best. Like forever a fave. Like screw a January favorite, screw a December favorite. This is like a lifetime fave, okay? And you guys, if you saw my last video, you know the story behind this. Then I have my phone. iPhone 6S Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, rose gold. <sighs> I'm so tired. And then I have this cute little situation. Do you guys like love the um? Let's let's try and uh, go for a cute thumbnail here. <laughs> I'm so lame. I got this yesterday from Forever 21. I was in there with my sister. She's 14 and she was trying to find an outfit to wear to school on Valentine's Day. So I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. So this is kind of like my makeup everything bag. I guess we can we can go inside this bag too. I'm just gonna put it down right here though. First I have my Mario Badescu Rosewater Facial Spray. This stuff is so refreshing. Like everywhere this needs to be everywhere you guys need this then i have this vitamin e clear lip gel another rosebud salve stress relief aromatherapy hand sanitizer this jordana coco loco lip liner mac studio press powder Neroli and Mandarin Henry Vendel perfume. And my X Plump It Up Lip Plumper in the color Live. It's like clear. MAC Dazzle Glass in the color Extra Amps. I'm working with natural lighting here, guys, so a cloud just kind of went over. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in the color Bittersweet. This Buxom Lip Plumper in the color Rose Julep. My Asthma Pump, which honestly I feel like I need to take a hit of anyway. If you guys can tell I'm kind of short of breath right now. This Wet n Wild Clear Gloss. God, there's like a lot of shit in here that I don't even use. Two hair ties. This Cream Sheen MAC Cosmetics lip, lip Gloss Lipstick and Cream in Your Coffee. This Buxom Lip Pencil in Undercover. The same Lip Plumper from NYX but in Red Scarlet. Whew. Whew. Hand Cream. I got my hair done yesterday, guys, and it's, it was so tight. It was, like, really difficult for me to sleep last night, so I'm just so tired. And then we got up and we went to church this morning, so I'm just kind of tired. This Crystal Glaze Gloss in the color Love Your Body by MAC. And this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Monte Carlo. And I can't remember if I already said but I have a cell phone charger and I have the Apple headphones in there. And so... I recently, guys, purchased, let me show you guys what I purchased. I recently purchased a, and I just got this off of Amazon. I recently purchased a bag organizer and it's felt, so it's not one of those bag organizers that's gonna like tear the inside of your bag. Well, Okay, in this little pocket, I still have some stuff, guys. I have my Kate Spade Let's Do Lunch business card holder. You guys want to see my business cards? I have to refill that. So, 
so now that's the end of the bag but I recently got this because as, as much as some people love it's not even gonna do it right now as much as some people love like that slouchy look I don't I don't like it I used to like it I used to not mind and then I, I found myself keeping this bag in the closet never used it I would put my stuff in it use it one day and I would change my bag as soon as I got home I did not use this bag and I really think that's why I think partly because it's not crossbody and I just like to be hands-free and crossbody and partly because it was a big black hole and I could never find anything in it but I just love that like it's just structured and I just I really prefer the bag like this guys honestly I really do um as you can see my bag has a really nice patina I hate I so hate guys I hate the like whiteness of brand new Louis Vuittons like and then how people try to preserve it like they, they want to preserve the freshetta like please please just let the shit patina please let it get a little bit brown because like that is not cute that is so not cute I was literally in Louis Vuitton yesterday with my mom and she was trying to get she wanted to get a clutch for a wedding or whatever so I was looking at the Speedy B in the size 25 and I was just like oh my god as much as I want this bag, I'm going to have to go through like trying to patina the vichetta because I just cannot deal with that hideous white tan color. It's hideous. It really is. Like when you have a brand new Louis Vuitton monogram with, with the vichetta, it's just so ugly until it patinas. Anyway, that's just my personal preference. I know some people really like that, so they try to preserve it, whatever. But um, yeah, guys, so that is what's in my bag and that is my thoughts on you know my, my thoughts and my regrets non regrets on getting this bag but like I said I love this bag I think um, if you have children it's a great bag because you can carry so much in it like I said maybe if you have smaller children and you need to be hands-free the bandolier would be a better option for you but I think this bag is like very cool girl it's very like off-duty model it's very chic I think you know and it's it's one of those classic bags that's just never gonna go out of style no matter what new trend comes in and no matter you know what changes this bag is always gonna be one of those pieces in your wardrobe that will always be a classic and a staple so um if you guys have any questions or anything just pop a comment down below and let's you know let's chat bye guys <laughs>